Okay, hi everybody. So today I'm going to take you through my co-sleeping arrangement that I have set up for baby. Um, I'll show you everything I have, where I plan to put it. Um, everything really is set up, um, even though I'm only 32 weeks at this point. Um, I just need to wash everything and that'll be good to go for baby. So if you have any suggestions about what I th you think I should have that I don't already have, please leave me a comment below and I'll take a look at it. So let's get started. So here is my side of the bed and here is the co-sleeper all set up. I already have it washed because I bought it used. And in these two pockets right here, I have um, extra sheets. And I am going to put a baby nest in here, the Etsy version of the Docatot. Right now I have a bamboo sheet saver on top of the sheet. And over here I have four burp cloths, which you need for breastfeeding. And I have my breast friend. I've used boppy pillows in the past. So I'm excited to use this one for the added back support. So I'm gonna have to keep that by my bed. Sorry if I'm breathing really hard. It's just hard to get enough oxygen in my system with baby squishing my lungs. <laughs> so even though I'm not moving much, I still can't breathe. Over here, I have a book because I'm gonna have a lot of help the first few weeks. So when baby's sleeping, I can just relax. Clock, my water, you drink a lot when you're breastfeeding. Portable night light is that little owl. And this rock salt lamp I always just have there. In the bottom of the co-sleeper, I have blankets. Some of them are from when I was a baby. My mom saved all those, so that's nice. I use those same blankets with my other two boys. Some of the only items I kept from my other babies um, since we got rid of most of everything when we didn't think we were going to go for a third. Baby monitor for when I'm downstairs. And in this diaper caddy, I have portable changing mat, changing pad liner. So I can throw either of those on the bed to change him in, in the night. Wub and up. Wipes, Huggies wipes, a couple of size one diapers. I definitely have to get more of, but I don't think I need to at this point. I'll wait a few weeks. Got boogie wipes, Boudreaux's butt paste with a butt paste applicator, and hand sanitizer, hand lotion. Um, working hands lotion for extremely dry crop skin. It's going to be fall and winter when um, for the first several months of his life and I'll be washing my hands a lot and using a lot of hand, sanita hand sanitizer. So in the past that always makes my hands crack and bleed. The other part of my baby monitor has some um, different pacifiers. Let's see what he likes. And I'm excited to try this Frida Baby Wendy, the gas passer. I've heard a lot of moms say it's a lifesaver. Never used it before. I, my first baby was very colicky, so maybe that would have helped him. I don't know that it was on the market six years ago. And then for sleeping, we have some two sleep sacks. This is a uh, Love to Dream swaddle, size small, for seven to 13 pounds. My first baby was eight and a half pounds. My second was nine and a half pounds. So I never get a newborn anything. I have a couple pairs of socks. And here are two Gerber sleep in place, the zip up kind with the um, feet on them. And some white onesies, which can go under the sleep in place. So I might also just put them in the short sleeve onesies and socks and then put them in the zip up swaddle. I don't know what'll be more comfortable, but you can try those. And then I uh, have two swaddles here. This first one is copper pearl. It's really large and very soft and stretchy. Second one is a muslin swaddle from Amazon, um, the welcome registry baby box. 
And in here, I just have extra um, sheet savers to put in the co-sleeper, some extra wipes, breast pads. These are the Soothe gel pads for the first couple weeks of nursing when it can get a bit raw. <laughs> and uh, breast pads down here, these are little sample ones. And um, the Nose Frida Snot Sucker, which is more hygienic than the nasal aspirator. They give you the hospital, the little bulb syringe, because you can't clean that very well. And these are the disposable hygiene filters that go with it. I never used that product before, but again, I heard a lot of good things, so I'm excited. Um, this is the Aquaphor Healing Ointment for Baby. This is really good. I can use this for his circumcision site and also for um, uh, diaper rash cream. So that's what's in there. And in one of these baskets, I think it's at the top buried under some stuff, is some gauze and petroleum jelly for baby. Um, also for his circumcision for the first couple weeks while that heals. So that's that basket. And then down here, I have a box of disposable nursing pads, um, some extra diaper genie refills. And if I'm not feeling up to feel refilling or changing out the refills in the middle of the night, I can just use individual diaper sacks. And then here's the diaper genie. So that is my setup. So I hope that was helpful to all of you moms out there who are trying to set up the sleeping arrangements for their baby or bedside sleeping. And um, I wish you luck and please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.